Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 12 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Today, uh, I'm working on some stuff. Uh, there's, there's like a bunch of things I'd like to do, uh, if possible. And uh, in order to get started, like I have a long list of things I'd like to create uh, to make my life a little bit easier going forward. Uh, right now, you can see I'm uh, pulverizing a bit of sandstone. The reason I'm doing that is I want niter, and I just got some, so yay. Uh, the other thing I'd like to pulverize my way through is a little bit of, where is it? Coal, nice. Uh, I did do a little bit of mining between episodes, as you can probably guess, based on the layout of my chests there. Um, what I'd like to work on right now, in agreement to this, I want these guys cooked up. Cool. All right. So you should upgrade, if I get a piece of redstone, uh, just fine, to an invar tier of the watering can. Cool. Uh, that might be a, yeah, it was a phantom item. And this um, needs... Some hardened and some phyto grow and some electrum. None of which I have right now, uh, but all of which we're about to get. Hooray. Uh, hardened, hardened, hardened. Do we not have hardened glass? I know we had some. I would expect it in this chest, but I am not seeing it right at this minute. So let's get some lead uh, and some obsidian and get some going. To do, oh my goodness, I have so many to do's. Where did I put obsidian? It might be in here. Yeah, I've got literally one. All right, to do, more obsidian. <laughs> that would definitely help. Uh, so let's pulverize that up. Uh, and then you will get cooked in the induction smelter with the four obsidian to get the hardened glass I need. Phytogrow is not hard to make if you've got slag and nitre and charcoal or pulverized coal, I thought, until I find out that it's not working. Uh, needs pulverized charcoal, not coal. Okay, my bad. So let's get one piece of wood. We will smelt that. You get that induction smelt. You and you. Can you be smelted? I don't even know. Mm. But you can be pulverized. Hey, cool. Uh, gave me coal back. Had no idea. Uh, and then Fido Grow is totally a recipe that we can make now, right? Nice. Cool. You're done with your hardened glass, which means I should be able to upgrade you to the next tier of watering can. Which is exciting. Uh, let's put away all this stuff real quick. Can you convert back? Oh, it's already gone. Um, good deal. So I want to get a better watering can because uh, I want to grow more more rice. Uh, specifically for one purpose. Let's get some rice seeds going on here. There's probably going to be a lot of things we're going to want to grow in a little bit. Uh, it's nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night. Um, so I was out hunting between episodes. And uh, there was a creeper standing on my farm over there. Uh, which, pff, whatever, it's a creeper standing on a farm. What do I care, right? So I was just like, yeah, that's cool. Whatever, creeper, stand there. Well, then there was a skeleton who was like, hey, look, a dire wolf. I'm going to shoot him. Oh, but the creeper got in my way. So the creeper's like, oh, a skeleton shot me. I'm going to explode. And then my farm is gone. So I don't have a farm anymore. <laughs> but it was a tiny little farm. It's not that big a deal. Uh, let's get like a little one up and running, like not too far-ish away. Um, would probably be nice. And let's get some water going here. Cool. Uh, so I basically want to rebuild a little farm. And I want to try out the new watering can, uh, specifically because A, uh, I need some more food. I'm getting a little bit hungry. And B, uh, I need to make something that's going to help me out in the next task, which is going to the nether. Uh, so let's let's call this area the farm that we want to make. Well, maybe one layer lower. Come back in a sec when this is ready. Okay, so I've got a decently sized uh, farm here with some rice that I'd like to get cooking. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the radius on the reinforced watering can is going to be. It can obviously hold a lot more water, which is kind of nice. Uh, does it tell me? Area 3x3, three three, press none to adjust area. Okay, uh, options, controls. Cool. Cultivation, maybe? Let's figure out where that hockey is. 
There it is, cough keys. I assume that's the right one, right? So if I, oh, five by five, seven by seven, neat. All right, so you can totally do a seven by seven. That's cool. So is that, that's pretty nice. Okay. So I assume you're gonna order this whole area pretty well. Beautiful. All right, back in a minute. Yeah, I like this watering can. I wish there was like an electric one that could I could charge with RF and then it didn't need water or something silly like that. Because uh, it does actually run out pretty quickly. I did a little testing off camera and found that, uh, you know, obviously if you switch into the 3x3 mode, and it seems obvious, but if you switch into the 3x3 mode, it doesn't use the water as quickly, but it also doesn't water as much area as quickly. Um, but that's fine. So, hey, we've got a decent collection of water going on here. I think I also got a worm, which is exciting. Uh, I can drop that. That will, um... I can just put you there. Can I replant rice on top of you? Yeah, I can. Nice. That worm will just sit there on top of that dirt block and help in a 3x3 three three area around it. So basically one on every side um, to grow a little bit faster. So that's neat. All right, cool. Well, food's going to be a little less of a problem now that we have this upgraded watering can. Uh, and that I like. Because food has been a little bit of a nuisance. Not terrible. Not terrible. Nice. Uh, so one of the things I want to go uh, and do is pop into the nether. And the reason I want to go to the nether is I would like, if I can, uh, to get myself something nifty here. Let's see. Uh, the pyroclast pendant uh, will help me go get into the nether. Uh, however, in order to get that, we need a rune of fire, which needs some nether work, which I'm pretty sure I haven't found any of yet. Gunpowder and nether brick won't be too much of a problem. The other thing I need is a rune of summer, uh, which requires a rune of air and earth, which we made last episode, some sand, a slime ball, which, by the way, uh, assuming it'll cycle through here, a rice slime ball can be made with rice dough and a water bucket. So, rice, that's the reason I was getting it. But I also need a melon, and I don't think I've yet found uh, melon seeds uh, just yet. Um, if, if I have, they might be in my miscellaneous junk section or in here, but I'm sure, almost sure, that I haven't. Um, so I'll put all this stuff away. Uh, good deal. So let's convert you guys into a bunch of bread. I will uh, put this guy away and we're good to go. All right, I'd like to find melons. Ooh, ender pearl. Uh, however, in order to find melons, I suspect uh, the best way to go about finding melon seeds would be to find a village. If I could find a village, that would be super helpful. Let's see, what direction have I not really explored on Journey Map? I haven't really explored in this direction. So uh, I think that might be my next course of action. Hooray! Uh, I'm going to try and uh, move pretty quickly across the treetops here. Courtesy of this fancy vortex wand I got a couple episodes back. Man, there's a lot of like really dense forestry tree stuff going on in this world. The seed is very, very foresty. Uh, so let's come back in a few minutes. I'm going to explore off camera and then I will come back hopefully once I've found a village nearby. Hold on, I see something in the distance that looks villagey ish. Let's see, am I right? It looks like one. Looks like one on, on journey map at least. Yeah, look at this cool village. Chilling in the uh, forest here. All right, so the vortex wand is not the easiest sometimes to use to get around. <laughs> I have to get the hang of this thing. It works a little differently than I'm used to some other blocks working. But for now, at least, it'll kind of work. Hey, cool. Uh, we found beetroot. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but I'll take it. Uh, beetroot, beetroot, beetroot. Uh, found some potatoes, personal food favorite of mine. Found some hops from Binnie's. It sounds like it's getting laid out. Beetroot, vanilla seeds. Would be cool if I could find some melons. Carrots. I think I've got carrots, right? Snag some just in case. Uh, rice, beetroot. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. All right, back in a few minutes, see what I can find in this village. So according to JEI, I can convert beetroot seeds into melon seeds with an alchemy catalyst. 
Just needs a brewing stand, some gold, some living rock, a mana pearl. All that's doable. Brewing stand I'll need some blaze rods for, which I don't think I quite have yet. But I think I can use the beetroot seeds I just got to get melon seeds. And that works for me. Skeleton, why are you in this house? Skeleton, please. Alright, I'm just going to see if there's any uh, good loots I can get in this area. Because who knows what kind of crazy things are added. Look, we got a crusher. Crushing up some quartz and some canola oil. Neat. This is an actually addition to house, it looks like. Ooh. Emeralds for Void Crystal, huh? Ooh, an Atomic Reconstructor. I'm pretty sure I can't steal these things. Ooh, but there's good stuff here. Look at all this. Uh, some iron casings. Ooh, a drill core. That's nice. That I like. Lots of wood casing, too. Why not? I'll take it. Good deal, dudes. Ooh, now look what I found in here. I found a swapping wand and a displacement wand. That's fancy. Is there anything I don't need? Canola seeds? I'm pretty sure I have canola seeds. I'll just put these in there for now. Uh, I grabbed a couple other things out of the loot chests in here. Saplings can kind of not be stuck. Okay, cool. Um, that sounds good for now. I'm just exploring this village while I'm kind of waiting for it to be daytime. Uh, and we'll see if there's any other loots around or anything else I can get. That would be nice. Got a little bit of string, but not enough. I've been harvesting their wheat because there's a couple villagers here who will gladly pay me for some wheat, which I'm happily stealing from them. Uh, so here's another farm. A lot of farms here. Quite the farming village. Doesn't have any melons, though. Came for melons. It's alright. Beetroot will hook me up. Back in a minute. Continuing to harvest wheat. Kill zombies. Guard villagers. Get emeralds, maybe, from wheat. We'll see. Ooh, just killed an enemy. Alright, made it back to the base. Uh, let's put away... Displacement one pushes blocks forward. Not sure that I'll ever need that. Uh, sneak right-click to select a block. Uh... Right click on the block to replace. Okay, swapping wand. Well, I kind of have an exchanger, so I think those are the same. Drill core is nice, though. I'm excited to have one of those. Uh, we'll put away all this stuff. I wouldn't mind planting some of those potatoes. Uh, we'll put away some of these wood casings. They might come in handy later. Uh, and I got some books as well. Cool. Uh, not sure if potatoes will land in here. I'm assuming that they will land in here. Uh, but we can add them right here to the potato list. That's actually the one that's Pam's, isn't it? Yeah. So let's uh, add it to the one down there. I should make some facades or something there. And beetroot could probably go in there as well. Um, all right, looks like it's just going to be potatoes for now. It's all good. So uh, let's do the thing. I, I might want a teleportation wand at some point. I can turn off my home waypoint. Let's pop into the nether. Um, so that we can get blaze rods and maybe even nether wart and that will help me towards getting my pyroclast pendant because then i'd like to go back to the nether uh and get some other cool stuff so hopefully i can get around uh i've got some iron armor i've got some food i've got some blocks to build with i should be all right uh to help me survive in there so kind of cross our fingers and see what we come up with yay chicken egg so much stuff to get uh getting nether wart would totally be cool uh, getting blaze rods would be nice. And maybe if we ran into a couple wither skeletons, that would also be neat. Because one of the things, like, so, like, my long story short goal... Okay, not that, not, not, not. Stop shooting fireballs at my nether portal. That would be... Oh, come on, I to Did you see that? He returned to sender, my return to sender. Sheep. Sheep and awful. Yes. Gotcha. Whew. That was close. All right. Why are there Endermen in the Nether? Who decided that needed to be a thing that existed? Who? What mod author said, you know what the Nether needs more of? Endermen. Not that I'm complaining about the free Ender Pearl I just got, but, I mean, just saying. Really wasn't like, like the Nether wasn't screaming for some Endermen. That's all. Uh, so, journey map. Have we found anything that resembles a fortress? Not yet. Let's head off in this kind of direction. And of course, like, everything here is soul sand right now, which is awesome for getting around easily. Um, zoinks? 
Okay. There's a little like power thing on your experience bar, and that indicates when you can. By the way, did I set up a waypoint? Let's set up a waypoint by where my exit is so I don't get lost. Getting lost in the nether? Bad times. Don't do that. Journey map, please. I'll just waypoint it like this is close enough. Portal. And now we're good. Okay. Uh, again, exploration occurring, and I'm going to do some of that off camera, uh, just like I was doing uh, with, with, with prior things and such. I'm getting the hang of this. Creepers and witches say what? Not cool. All right, going to look around for a fortress, because uh, that's where I'm most likely to find another wart, I presume, unless uh, Biomes of Plenty add some kind of another wart biome. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Hark! Another fortress. Uh, you can see the coordinates on the top right if you're interested in finding them, if you're playing in the same seat as me. Hopefully that will help. Uh, sweet. Let's see if I can get some nether wart. Oh, looks like uh, one of those frozen biomes, like the hell froze over kind of thing. Pretty cool. All right, so nether wart I'm here for, and if I ran into some wither skeletons, I will probably attempt to kill them and hopefully not die. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on? How impossible is it to get over to that thing based on my current coordinates? Now my portal's in that direction, it's actually not far. So I'm wondering if it would be possible for me to like dig through the wall and actually get there a little bit easier from my portal. That would be kind of cool. But it looks like this nether fortress is actually relatively accessible. Ooh, a blade spawner, beautiful. That's cool. Now remember we don't have Ender IO installed, so we don't want to go breaking blaze spawners. Um, I don't know if there's some other mod that can use broken blaze spawners. Like, I think Extra Utilities has a way of doing something with blaze spawners, but we'll see. Hello, Magma Cream. Hello, Blaze. Yay! This looks like the kind of building that usually has another ward in it, right? Totally nailed it. Dude, does Dyer know Minecraft or what? Look at all these vanilla mechanics I understand so well. And a dungeon loot chest, anything good? Uh, I'll take the Steadfast drone. And a radium shard, why not? That's cool. Uh, I guess I'll take gold. It's not like I super need... Oh, I'll hold off on taking gold. I'm here for things and stuff, and, and, and gold was not on my I need to get that list. I will explore this area a little bit and see if there's any cool loots to be gotten. Um, more iridium, some void. That's just coal at the end of the day. I'm not sure that I'm, like, dying to pick that up. It's very easily crafted uh, from coal, so I'm not going to waste my time. Any other cool loots down here? Uh, I've gotten two. Oh, I want more blaze rods. I only got one, so I'd like at least one more blaze rod so that I can do my transmutation thing. Uh, from from uh, Batania, but I'd also like to run into a wither skeleton or two if I could. That might be fun. Uh, back in a minute as I, well, no, I guess I'll stick around here for a minute. We'll just see if we can come up with any good stuff. I might be lost, but only a little bit. Only a little. Oh boy, there's, there's, there's. Skeleton. At least it's not a wither skeleton. Oh, come on, drop some loot, would you? Sneaky, sneaky guys. Don't wither away, dire wolf. Now's a good time for withering to wear off. Yay, I survived. Alright, let me, uh... Ooh, is that another chest? I'll take it. Let me look around a little bit here, see if I can get some more blaze rods. Ooh, another word. Ooh, acceleration wand. That's not overpowered. Yeah, it is. This is definitely a cool fortress that I found here. Part of me wants to now run back home with the loots that I got, because I did kind of come with most of what I was looking for. I got weather dust. It's not exactly what I was looking for a weather skeleton for. Uh, but that seems to be the general direction to head for my portal. 
So what if we just real quick... This shouldn't be a hard process? Plus we'll get experience from doing this. 87 blocks. I think I can do this. Uh, I think I should have my excavator on me, don't I? Tell me I have my excavator. I do! Hooray! Back in a minute as I burrow through this wall. All right, so that tunnel leads back to uh, the Nether Fortress. And this tunnel, which I kind of hit my head on the way down to, uh, but I don't know if I have enough durability on my hammer. We'll see. I'm gonna need to get an actually additions drill here sooner than later. Cause that I can carry a battery around for. And that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, hey, there we go, my portal, nice. Uh, by the way, since I made it to my actual portal, I'm gonna remove this portal and add a new portal waypoint. Nice, cool. All right, I'm gonna go drop off all my stuff at home and then we're gonna make an alchemy catalyst. Adding blaze rods to the mob drops chest, woot. Uh, and that should be pretty cool and pretty rapid. Nice, all right, cool. That looks good. Still gonna need a better way to get up and down. Uh, once I have more ender pearls, I think we're gonna make an, ender, an elevator of sorts. But for now, stairs work. Uh, good, everything's sorted and organized. We've got ourselves another stack of cobble to hang on to. And I think I accidentally sorted my bread. Probably went into the actually additions chest. Yeah, it did, nice. All right, cool. Uh, so that's all set. So let's get an alchemy catalyst. We're gonna need those two blaze rods. We're going to need an ender pearl. Uh, and a handful of other things. Uh, specifically, uh, we're going to need Batania-related stuff. Living rock. Cool. So catalyst, boom. Uh, also two gold. And that should be good. So let's go outside. We'll recreate our back door. Uh, again, lots and lots of uh, temporaries and to-dos around here. But this should work for us. So Alchemy Catalyst needs two blaze rods. And that should be good. Alchemy Catalyst goes underneath your uh, mana pool. And when that happens, the mana pool will now be able to do alchemy transformations for you, as long as that block is under there. Uh, so if we got ourselves some beetroot seeds, which should uh, be right here, uh, we should be able to now get Nice, melon seeds. Now I can remove that for the time being because we don't totally need it to stay there. Um, and I should make some kind of just, I'll leave it in the in the house for now. But that's neat. So we've got melon seeds, perfect. Uh, we will put this away in here because it's a Batania item. I'll also want to get some potatoes and my watering can. Uh, and I should go repair all my tools because they are all really hurting for repairs, but whatever. Nice. Um, we can grow this guy here. And that should be good. Now that should grow. And if I want to, I can make this a three by three area just to save on the water a little bit. And we should get a watermelon. And it should also, by the way, increase the uh, speed at which the watermelon grows like that. Melons, check, nice. All right, now let's get a slime ball, uh, which is gonna need three more rice. Actually, additions chest. Do I not have rice? Unless you're in here as a whitelisted. Yeah, you are, okay, cool. And a bucket of water. There we go. And this will let me get a slime ball. Boop. Okay, uh, so you and you guys. You know what I think I need to do? It needs to be rice dough, not rice. There we go, rice slime balls. Nice. We only need one of those. So we'll do that, that, and that. And you can go away as well. Um, we only need really one watermelon. So the pyroclast pendant that we want uh, requires a rune of summer, which is earth and air, two sand, slime ball, and melon. 
earth and air, two sand, slime ball, and melon. And let's not also forget that we're gonna need some living rock. And we're gonna need our wand to complete all the crafting of the Rune of Summer. Now, I'm pretty sure, and you know, we'll see how right I am about this, but I'm pretty sure that when we craft the Rune of Summer, we will also get back the Runes of Earth and Air. So that's neat. Uh, while that's cooking, uh, let's get a Rune of Fire, because uh, I already have Summer cooking now. We're gonna need uh, Mana Powder, Mana. We're gonna need Nether Wart, Gunpowder, and Nether Brick. So one of you. Uh, mob drop chest will have the gunpowder. We're also going to need the four string. We're going to need two iron and a redstone for that. And then we're going to need the nether wart, which might probably have landed in here, miscellaneous junk chest. And then we just smelt this up into the nether brick. And that should be our rune of fire. And then we'll have a pyroclast pendant, which is a really cool device. When you're on fire, it immediately puts you out. Should help quite a bit. If I wasn't a derp, I probably would have put that in my smelting chest, not in my pulverizer, but you know, dire derps happen. Uh, so what I was saying was, well, yeah, when you're on fire, it automatically puts you out and it's a bauble that you wear in your bauble slot. Uh, why I want that? Well, I'm gonna be spending a little bit more time in the nether and uh, being caught on fire is not a good time for anybody. See, I did get my rune of earth and air back, cool. Uh, let's convert you guys. We will put one of you here, one of you here, this and this. Are you hurting for mana? You are. I'm gonna need more uh, coal. Let's get a stack. Coal block this thing up. And uh, at some point I will automate uh, the production of mana as well as a few other things, but for now you guys can do that. Nice. And you probably don't have enough mana to complete your, um, your fire guy, but that's going to, um, that'll be enough mana like in a second because it's producing more now. We'll drop our living rock on. We're good to go. Uh, and now we're just going to need some string, which we don't have enough mana to convert. So we'll be back in a minute when we do. Three out of four mana infused string are ready. All right, pyroclast ready? Just, oh, right, I need another uh, mana stealing it, which, good, we have mana for now. Cool, 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 cool. Beautiful. Remember you can right click to equip your baubles? Yeah, nice. And that'll go right into the bauble slot. Perfect. Uh, so with that, we are now, I'm not gonna, you can't go jumping into lava, at least not yet. Uh, eventually you can jump into lava. There's another amulet called the Crimson Pendant that allows you to go jump into lava. But before we can get that, we have to kill an end boss, which, you know, we're not gonna do today. Um, what this does allow is if we get hit by fireballs from ye old blazes, it doesn't really hurt as bad, and that's kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm going to get more food, and I'm going to sleep through the night, and we'll come back in a minute. All right, guys. So what I'd like to do now is pop back to the nether and uh, do a little bit of hunting in there. And I think I'm going to do that a little bit off camera, and then we'll probably come back mostly to wrap up the episode. But the main purpose of uh, heading to the nether right now I want to find some wither skeletons and I want to get some specific drops that they have. So we'll be back in a minute. I think I see some blazes on the map and I hear them. Uh, so let's try out a new pyroclast pendant, shall we? Or are they inside this area underneath me? That seems fair. I can take them on. Where are you sneaky guys? Are you off more in this direction? Where are you? I was all kinds of prepared to demo this functionality and no worky. All right, so go ahead, hit me with a fireball. Now, obviously the initial fireball will still hurt, but notice how I didn't catch on fire. So the pyroclast pendant immediately removed the fire effect uh, as soon as it hit me. So that's kind of cool. Also, hey buddy. Nice. All right, more uh, hunting and gathering. Back in a few when I get something that I might like. Ooh, I found bat's wings. I think those are pretty rare. Not 100% sure. But I also found... Oh, come on. I didn't mean to hit you. Hopefully there's no pigment around to see that. Shh. They sound angry. Hopefully they're not too angry. Uh-oh. Sounds like they might be. 
I hear lots of mmming. Listen, Pigman, I hit him by mistake, and then he attacked me. It's not my fault. Blame the wither skeletons or something. Alright, back in a few, still hunting. I didn't die from fall damage, you died from fall damage. <laughs> Yay, we're still stuck. That and the sash. Beautiful. Alright, back to work. Still haven't gotten what I'm looking for here. Hopefully soon. Alright guys, I'm having absolutely no luck trying to get the thing that I would like to get, which is a huge bummer. And I think if I had some fortune on my sword, it might help a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is go get that and come back. Uh, but we're going to have to do that next episode. So let's wrap up the episode here. I've been hunting for like 20 minutes and not a single one of these items dropped that I wanted. Which is totally a bummer. Uh, well, I guess I could look at these. Looks like there's some skeletons right over there. I will give them a try. And if they don't have what I want, I will be mighty upset. Come on. Nope, still no luck. Ugh, didn't get it. I'm not even looking for a, a skull, I'm looking for a drop of evil. I want a mob farm, and it's just not happening. So, uh, let's do this. Let's go get ourselves, ow, um, some uh, fortune on our, on, our, on our empty sword here, so we can get more mob drops. We're going to want that for all kinds of obvious reasons anyway, um, and then, you know, we will we will have to expand and branch out from there. So for now, uh, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time. I will get fortune on my sword, and maybe we'll come back to the nether here uh, and hopefully have a little bit more luck with some of the drops that I want. For now, take it easy.